In this video, I wanna help you to develop a heavier forehand. And the way that I'm gonna do that is to show you my own training and explain exactly what I'm working on at the moment. Now, I'm a right-handed player, but I'm relearning to play left-handed. I've been working at things for about 18 months now. I've got to a reasonable level, but now I really wanna increase the pace and the spin that I've got on my shots to try and push my opponents back. In terms of hitting heavy forehands, the key is really going to be to use efficient biomechanics. So we need to use our full kinetic chain to generate the racket head speed, and then we need good timing. Timing is really the thing that holds everything together. When it comes to improving your strokes, there are no magic tricks or secrets. It's about analyzing where things are going wrong at the moment, so understanding what the weakest link in your chain is, and then working to address that problem. So that's what I'm going to show you with my forehand at the moment, starting with a breakdown of the biomechanics mechanics. Now I hope you find the video helpful. If you do, it'd be great if you could give me that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, really appreciate it if you could do that as well. When we talk about optimized biomechanics and using the full kinetic chain, what we mean is that we're going to be generating racket head speed by driving through our outside hip. So we initiate the movement using the outside hip. Then momentarily after that, the torso starts to rotate. That's followed by the shoulder, followed by the racket. And between those sequence of motions, we basically turn ourselves into a whip to generate the racket head speed. In order to use your full kinetic chain and start by driving through the outside hip, the preparation is crucial. We need a good upper body unit turn, so getting the body around side on or a little bit more to the net. And we also need to load into the outside hip. Unless you get those two pieces, we don't have the ability to then drive and use our kinetic chain. Now, one of the big areas where this is problematic for people is the footwork. And this was the same for me, learning to play left-handed. I've had to do a lot of work on my footwork so that I can set up in the right position. To help you with that, I've created a free footwork program that you can download by clicking the link that's up in the corner. And I'll also place a link down in the description as well. Once you're loaded into that outside leg, you're then gonna drive through the outside leg and a fraction of a second later, and I mean a fraction of a second later, your torso is gonna to start to rotate. And what I want you to notice is that as that happens, that's when you're gonna create your racket lag. By the momentum of driving your hip and your torso forwards, the racket drops back into the racket lag position. And then as you continue to rotate your hips, and your torso forwards, your shoulder comes forwards, pulling the racket forwards, and that's what creates the racket head speed. But like I said, this all comes down to timing, and really for timing, we've got two pieces. We've got timing the start of your swing based on being able to read and predict where the ball's going, and then we've got the timing of the individual body movements in the correct sequence. And obviously that has to be done relative to the ball that's coming towards you. And this is the, the real challenge in tennis in hitting heavy balls with both power and spin is trying to make all the timing work together. Now that you understand about the biomechanics and the importance of timing, I'll explain what I'm actually working on. And for me, it's still all about the preparation. I've only been going at this for about 18 months. So I'm working on loading into my left leg, my outside leg, because as a right-handed player with a one-handed backhand, I never really loaded in my left leg. So that's a big piece of the puzzle for me. And then the other part is really about getting that upper body rotation as I load into the left leg. Because when I started playing left-handed, I had a real habit of trying to arm the ball so I'm now breaking that habit so the upper body rotation is a key piece for me as well. So throughout all of my training session I'm just focusing on my preparation loading into the outside leg and getting the upper body unit turn and I'm basically feeding myself different balls starting in the service boxes then moving back increasing the pace of the ball trying some balls that are a little bit lower some balls that are higher some with more spin some are inside out some going cross court some going down the line just focusing on my preparation and along with the two points that I've already mentioned one of the big areas of focus is is gonna be my spacing from the ball. As a right-handed player with a one-handed backhand, my kind of pre-programming is to be a little bit closer to the ball. Now that I'm using my left hand, I need a, little, need a little bit more distance between me and the ball. So as I work on these different types of strokes, that is what I'm working on. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. Just wanna quickly remind you about that free footwork program. There's a link up there and a link down below. As I've just said, all I'm focusing on is loading into my outside leg, getting a unit turn and being the right distance from the ball. 
if you're not prepared and in the right position, everything else after that is much more challenging and the footwork program is gonna really help you with that. But if you're really serious about improving your game, you might also be interested in a web class that I've created for you because what I teach is brain-based training to improve underlying skills. So I teach players how to improve their vision so they can read where the ball's going. It's really important for your timing and for tracking the ball through to contact so you can hit with consistency. And I also help players to improve their coordination because obviously in order to have good timing and use high level technique, coordination is really important as well. So if that's interesting to you, again, I'll place a link up there and I'll place a link down in the description so you can check it out. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.